Hi guys, this is Final Fantasy Six Nine One Three One. I have a DVD update for you guys this is for July twentieth, two thousand eleven. This is my very first DVD update, so please be patient. Um, I have twenty one DVDs here. I know that's a lot for my very first DVD update, but yeah, twenty DVDs. So let's get started with my DVDs. First off, um. I love the classic 1930s, 40s, and 50s cartoons, so I just had to get this. 200 classic cartoons, the collected edition. Four discs containing um, cartoons such as Betty Bob, Betty Boop, Popeye, Woody the Woodpecker, Felix the Cat, Three Stooges, Gumby, Casper, all kinds of people, all kinds of things. It's a four disc set. It's got it for five bucks at um Walmart at Walmart. It's a pretty good set to own. Um you can spend hours and hours on this set. It's a classic set. Um let's just take a look at it. It's a little bit ripped. But what can you do? Okay, this is this one, two, three, and four. This is a pretty good set. I'm enjoying this DVD so far. It's good, and it helped get the money off. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. Next up, since Jim Carrey is one of my favorite actors, I just had to get this. The Ace Ventura Collection. Double feature pack. Ace Ventura Pet Detective and Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. Two good films. I haven't really seen When Nature Calls yet, but Pet Detective is excellent. It's an excellent Jim Carrey comedy. I love Jim Carrey. Um, uh, I haven't seen When Nature Calls yet, but Pet Detective is just comedy at its best. This the flip sided disc. Flip sided disc. Um, one side is Pet Detective, one side is When Each Calls. A great um, set to own for Jim Carrey fans. It's just good. It has commentary on the first one and theatrical trailer and TV spots, and on the other one, it's just theatrical trailer and TV spots. But they're both on widescreen, so that's good to hear. So, yeah, this is a great set. Next up, I got something that I've been meaning to get for a while. It's a true classic, and it deserves um, to be in my collection. And that is the two-disc, uh, I think this is a special edition DVD of Back to the Future. It's a slipcase, so I can take off the beautiful, colorful things. Make it show other things. This this comes with a whole lot of special features like the Back to the Future ride, behind the scenes looks, featurettes, feature commentaries, stuff like that. Oh, one of these DVDs. Pamphlets, disc one, and disc two. You can own it. I got it for 17 bucks at Target. It's a good deal. Very good deal. Next up is a true classic. It's a really great film. It's a classic. It's one of the best films I've ever seen, and one of the best, and one of the best Tim Burton movie. And that is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a great film. I just love it. Um, the sixth, it's the 20th anniversary deluxe edition. Just a classic, classic, classic comedy film. Comes with three additional episodes of the Beetlejuice TV show, a music only audio track, 
That's something interesting to see. Danny Elfman doing his music. One disc. Beetlejuice is a classic. It always has been. It always has been my favorite. One of my favorite. My favorite Tim Burton film, and it always will be. At least until it's new. Next up is a film that I recently got at um, Kmart for five bucks. It's the director's cut of a uh, Beowulf. I've never owned Beowulf on DVD before. I saw it in the um, theaters, I th and I, I saw it on DVD once. I re went to re rented it, and I saw it. I, I love this movie. It's a classic. Um, I watch it every time it's on. And I just got the the director's cut, which contained a whole lot more special features than the theatrical cut. That's what I'm told. The features are well. The features are. Deleted scenes, the making of Beowulf, beasts of burden, designing the creatures of Beowulf, creating the ultimate Beowulf, the art of Beowulf, and more. Another one of these, um, I'm going back to the future. I just love Beowulf. It's a classic animated action adventure. Next up is, um, I don't collect Adam Sandler films that much, which is kind of a shame because I like Adam Sandler. So I got a movie on that, um, Target that was one of Adam Sandler, that I heard was one of Adam Sandler's best and I just had to pick it up, and that is Big Daddy. <clears throat> I have, I actually saw this recently. And I loved it. It was a great Adam Sandler flick. Um, it was a great um, drama, comedy, a dramedy. I don't know. It was funny, smart. Um, it was a great comedy. I liked it. Uh, it contains making of, music videos, talent files, original theatrical trailers, and bonus trailers. Disc one, on the disc. So yeah, Big Daddy, great film. Next up is another one of Adam Sandler's best. I think it's one of his. I think it's his best, best one yet. Billy Madison. I love, love, love this film. Adam, it showcases Adam Sandler's two talents. It's this film that he took off after Saturday Night Live was over for him. And he just found and he just found a job and he just. And a director by the name of uh, Tamara Davis recruited him for this film, and it was a smart idea. This is a great, funny, hilarious comedy. One of his best ones. I, I, I think it's his best one. So funny. This one. I just like the artwork on the back and front. It's like a Chalkboard. It's a classic. It's a classic Adam Sandler flick. Next up is a um, triple feature set of Ernest. It's um, Ernest goes to camp, Ernest is scared stupid, and Ernest goes to jail. I got, if you've seen in my DVD collection, you might have seen Ernest Saves Christmas. Yeah, well, I recently found this triple feature set on um, at Target for, I mean, at uh, Kmart for just five bucks, which is a really good set, which is a really good deal. Contains all three films in there. I think it's widescreen. Huh, doesn't say. This one contains Ernest Goes to Camp and Ernest Goes to Jail. And this two contains Ernest Scared Stupid. I need to watch these films. Or they are some of his best, some of Jim Farney's best work. So, Ernest. I got the Ernest collection. Next up is my favorite war film, in my own opinion. My favorite Civil War film, because there's been many Civil War flicks, but I think this one just takes a cake.
That's the best one. Glory. Glory is one of my favorite films also. It's a classic, um, classic Civil War flick. Denzel Washington does fantastic. It's a great film. Disc one. I think this is a directorical. There's no special features it doesn't look like. Just the movie. And I love it. The movie's one of the best Civil War films ever. Denzel Washington, Matthew Broderick, Carrie Hughes, and Morgan Freeman do good in this film. I love this. Great to do on. Next DVD is a movie that I also got at Kmart for five bucks. I had seen this movie on VHS once, but I absolutely loved it. It was a classic film. Reminded me of so much a babe. Gordy. Um, this film reminds me of really, a, really much a babe. It's uh, it's kind of similar to Babe, actually. Yeah, this film reminds me of Babe, and this is a classic. Anyone who likes pig movies and who likes Babe should definitely pick this one up. This is a classic. Okay, next TV is um, another Adam Sandler flick. Came packed with Billy Madison. A film I had not seen of Adam Sandler yet. Happy Gilmore. I heard this was a great film. I just haven't seen it. So I don't know what's... It's all about. It has 20 minutes of deleted scenes, outtakes. Packaged together with Billy Madison, so better look forward to this if I like Billy Madison. Next DVD is a Will Smith movie. Oddly enough, I don't have any Will. I don't have. Actually, I don't think I have any Will Smith films. I only have two. So oddly enough, I had to get this hitch. Don't know what. It's. Haven't seen this yet. I don't think I'd have. Got it because it looked interesting. Kevin James is in it, who's so funny. So I have no clue what it's about. But I heard it's pretty good. I heard it's good. Decent. I heard it's a DC Will Smith film, so I better check that out. Okay, next up for my DVD collection update is a double feature pack. Fam uh, family fun time. Which includes Hook and Indian in the Cupboard. Two great films. Actually, I kind of like Indian in the Cupboard better, but Hook is, gr is a good film. Let's see, did they come with any special features? Other than... Other than language and the subtitles, did they come with any special features? Huh, I'm gonna have to see when I check it out. Hook and any in the cupboard. I love these, the, the way this is all set up. I love the way this, these are set up. Set up really well. I have to check these two out again. For old, for old time memory. Since we're in the mood of um, Jim Carrey flicks, I might as well show you my next Jim Carrey film that I got. The uh, this is the collector's edition, watch the widescreen collector's edition of Liar Liar. Liar Liar is an excellent film. It's an excellent Jim Carrey flick. It's an excellent 1990 Jim Carrey flick, which showcases his best talents. I love it. Um, yeah, come to it. Comedy. It's a great Jim Carrey flick you own. If you don't have Jim, if you like Jim Carrey, you should get this. If you have to, not. Next, I got. Next thing I got was um, Wachowski Brothers film, Speed Racer. <clears throat> I saw. I had. I've seen this. I see. I saw this movie. Um, I think it was in theaters or something. And I absolutely loved it. It was visually amazing. 
Wachowski, the Wachowski brothers are the directors of the Matrix films. And I just had to pick this up since it was so amazing of a film. Most critics hated it, but I liked it. It was entertaining. It comes with two special features. I don't need to check out the special features of this movie to find out how made it because it's just utterly visually amazing. It's classic. Next film is a film that I that I've seen when I was younger and I actually and I actually liked and I enjoyed it. And I just had to get it, but I don't have I don't have any of the original movie any of the sequels to any of the movies, so just had to get the very first one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not the animated sequel in 2008, which was 2007, which was bad. This one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the classic. This is a classic um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles flick. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I just had to get it. So entertaining. Um, let's see. Special features, yep. Mm. Trailers, theatrical trailer. I think it's um, featurette and stuff. This one. I think it comes in full, full screen and widescreen. Yep, widescreen and full screen. Teenage Mutant Ninja. Next up is another Wachowski Brothers film, but they did not direct this, sadly. It's a great film. It's a very classic style, just like um, the movies, the visually amazing movies. And I just enjoy it. It's um, V for Vendetta. This is excellent. An excellent, excellent, excellent film. No matter what anybody says, this is excellent. I loved it. I loved every single second of it. Special features, makings, just making a movie. This one. Excellent film. Next film is a movie that I saw at um, Target, but I just never got around to seeing it, and so I bought I picked it up for five bucks and I bought it. And it is What About Bob? I had I have not seen this one yet. I have not seen this video yet. I need to see it. It looks based on the cover. It looks funny. It looks hilarious. I don't know about it yet. But it looks funny. I need to see it once. I need to see it. It comes with the trailer. And this one. I need to see this. This looks awesome. Yeah. I need to see this. This looks awesome. Next up is a very underrated um, Jim Carrey flick. I loved it, though. Yes Man. Yes Man is terrific. I loved it. Um, I need to see this again. and I need to see this again for the full widescreen and full screen formats of the film. Just classic Jim style at its best. And this one. There's a widescreen and a full screen edition anyway, also. Just so you guys should know. And guys, we have done it. My DVD update is now finished. 21 films, just under... Hold on. Just under, I think, 12 or 13, 15, I mean, in just under 21 takes, and I think we did good. So, everybody, this is Final Fantasy X-Men 1-1 out. Have a good day.